Sometimes we can solve integrals by turning complex things into simpler things. So here we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx. And it would be really nice if we could make this simpler by changing this 1 plus x squared into one single term. So we can think about doing this by remembering that 1 plus the tangent squared of theta equals secant squared of theta. And secant squared of theta, that's one term. So that's like what we're looking for. So if we let x equal tangent of theta and use this substitution, then we have the integral of 1 over 1 plus tangent squared of theta. And then we have this dx. So remember that we, when we did substitution, we also had to substitute in for our dx. So the derivative is derivative of tangent of theta is secant squared of theta d theta. So then this integral, instead of dx, we have secant squared of theta d theta. So now we have this integral, the integral of 1 over 1 plus tangent squared of theta times secant squared of theta d theta. But we can't forget that 1 plus tangent squared of theta is equal to secant squared of theta. So really we have the integral of 1 over secant squared of theta times secant squared of theta d theta. So our secant squared of theta is cancel, leaving us with the integral of d theta. So solving that integral, we get theta plus c. And theta, what we have to solve for theta, so we have x equals tangent of theta. And if we solve this for theta, we get the inverse tangent of x equals theta. But remember that our inverse tangent is restricted from theta goes from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So our integral equals the inverse tangent of x plus a constant c.